Tiffany Haddish reveals that she has turned down or refused a $10 million payday to do social media posts because it didn't fit her brand. And in quotes, my soul is worth more to me. Now, personally, I have no idea who Tiffany Haddish is, but when I stumbled upon this headline, I thought this would be a pretty cool story to actually check out. And the reason for this is because this is such a rare thing to actually see from anyone that is like a celebrity or something. So I'm guessing she's a celebrity, right? Like, wow. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how much money she has made in her career, whatever her career is. I don't know how much money she saved. Because here's the thing. It's one thing to turn down this money and you're rich already. And it's another thing to turn down this money when you have no money. Right? Now, I'm assuming she probably has a lot of money and was actually able to turn this down a lot easier because it wouldn't really have that much impact on her daily life. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck and someone offers you $10 million to do social media posts or social media posts, you're probably going to do it, like, to be honest, right? If you, right now, by the way, that dog right there in the background drinking some water is pretty loud. Just look at that. That is a thirsty, thirsty dog. And that, actually, this dog drinking water really loudly because they're super thirsty is a pretty good example or an analogy of if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're desperate for money and someone or some company offers you $10 million, you are going to be extremely tempted to take it. It would be almost impossible for you to not take that kind of money in that situation like that is the reality right so i think it's always important for people to do their best to manage their finances in a way to where if an opportunity does come around like this and it really doesn't go along with your morals you have the choice in that sense where you're more likely willing to stick with your morals because you're not really, like, your life isn't going to change because of this money, is what I'm saying. So she is one of Hollywood's greatest success stories as she went from living into her car to becoming a megastar. But despite knowing what being broke is like, Tiffany Haddish is not willing to sell out at the cost of her integrity. The 42-year-old entertainer is featured on the cover of the latest edition of Cosmopolitan magazine as she opened up on a variety of topics including how she chooses her projects, her dating life, and therapy. Okay, so as she had her career breakthrough starring alongside Regina Hall, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Queen Latifah in the 2017 comedy film Girls Trip, Tiffany revealed that she's now only beginning to see the power she wields. Okay, so here's the thing. I guess she's an actor. Well, I mean, actress. Like, I, I literally have no idea what her career is like, right? Like, no idea. If you end up stumbling upon this and you know, like, kind of like a little bit of her backstory, feel free to give your thoughts or your knowledge because I personally have no idea. I just think it's a cool thing to be in a position where you could turn down a $10 million payday. Because I gotta be honest, if someone offered me $10 million right now to do whatever, I'd probably do it. So she said, it is a huge struggle. I should have realized probably three years ago that I was like popping because people I know would be like, you need to just put me in a movie, give me the job, you got the power. But I didn't realize I had power, I didn't understand it, and they knew 
before I knew. Tiffany explained that she recently went to Harvard and took a class called The Business of Entertainment, Media, and Sports, which made her realize that she had been selling herself short for years. I turned down $10 million because my soul is worth more than that to me. Tiffany went on to talk about her thinking process behind choosing projects and partnerships as she revealed that money isn't exactly everything. Interesting. So she explained, you need the writer to tell the story, to put the story down on paper, but you need the performer to bring it to life. And the right performer puts the booties in the seat. You need the booty in the seat. You need eyes on the project, and the element that I was missing was that I had value in that way. It's not about money. It's about the power and then being able to create opportunities. Like on my show that I'm on right now, The After Party, I put in a request to see more people like me on the set. Tiffany went on to talk about her thinking process behind choosing projects and partnerships as she revealed that money isn't exactly everything. She was candid as she said, I've turned down S, I've turned down $10 million just to do a post. Well, so just one thing. Wow. Because it didn't represent my brand. I turned down $10 million because my soul is worth more than that to me. My spirit, my integrity, how I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror every day. I'd rather be flat broke than get money to do something that makes me feel like S. I really wonder what type of post they were trying to get her to post. Because that's a lot of money and it went so against her moral standings that she was like, she felt dirty. Like, that's the crazy thing, right? Whatever this post was, this request, literally made her feel disgusting, right? That she would feel herself to be a disgusting human being, right? That's crazy. And honestly, I think that is probably the smartest decision for her, right? Because a lot of people don't necessarily mention this, but the way that a lady sees themselves in the mirror can really affect them mentally, right? A lot of guys, maybe that can affect them, but for the most part, guys tend to like literally just not think about anything at all. But ladies, if they have a lower self-esteem because of something that they chose to do and that choice makes them feel worse than what they do right now that's that's probably going to end really badly for years like it's going to just like continuously get worse over the next years so she continued at first with acting roles i used to just be like what seems like fun Now, it's what seems like fun and what resonates with my soul. Then I ask, who else is working on it? Will it be my friends? What I've noticed lately, though, is that casting has been coming to me first. So I've learned how to fight better, too. Because it's a battle getting the people that you want, because everybody still looks at you as talent. When they fail to realize I've produced things, got nominated for awards, won trophies, I kind of know what I'm doing. Give me an opportunity to make you richer, sir. I might not know how to keep them in, but I know how to make some money. (laughs) Okay, I'm not going to lie. I I really like that statement, right? I think this is a hilarious statement. I might not know how to keep them in, but I know how to make some money. I don't know. To me, personally... As a guy, I think it'd be pretty easy to keep a guy, at least a guy like me. (laughs) He doesn't take much. She accessorized with large gold and honey hoop 
earrings and Jennifer Fisher gold rings. The Easter Sunday star also sat by a fireplace in a shimmering gold sleeveless mini dress from the Michael Kors collection as she flaunted her legs. Tiffany also revealed that she has been dating since her split from rapper and actor Common last year, who she dated from mid-2020 to November 2021. She said that despite queendom building, she still has time to go out with potential suitors, as she said, I've been dating my A off. That's one thing that's been really great. I know all the fine restaurants now. I got a date coming up where I'm dining in the dark. You order your food before you go in, and you go in, and it's dark, and the food is supposed to be really good because you can't see. Tiffany has been open about her experiences in therapy, as she had a tough family life growing up, and even ended up in foster care, separated from her siblings, and opened up about its role in her life. Now that's interesting. She said, I was actually court-ordered to go to therapy as a teenager, but I didn't really use it. I just was quiet, sitting there coloring, putting puzzles together. But I wouldn't talk to the therapist. But when I was 21, I had a breakdown, so I went back, and I really took it seriously because I felt like dying. And here's the thing, right? And this is basically kind of why I mentioned a little bit earlier about her basically making the right decision for her in her situation because given this past history right of mental health struggles if you were to actively make a choice where you feel like crap about yourself to make yourself feel like crap forever now because of the choice you made that's not good It still makes me emotional when I think about it. I didn't know why God put me on this planet to hurt so much. Why I had to be everybody's punching bag. That's where I let it sit. Right before I turned 18, I wanted to, you know, end herself, right? My grandma told me I wasn't allowed. She made me realize I was valuable. You know, as a black woman, we don't talk about certain things like being molested or raped because we're embarrassed or we think it will bring shame to the family or whatever. But I needed to talk about certain things. I think the biggest lesson for me is learning that it's okay to say I'm not okay. And the thing is, I'm not 100% certain, but I think this issue is more common than is said within the African American community, which is sad. Because I think there's like a I think there's a really big stigma against talking about that sort of stuff. Because I mean, I think they like basically I think it's like basically if like an uncle were to do that stuff to a niece or a nephew and then they don't talk about it and then it just goes bad and then bad and then I think that's like really common in that community. Tiffany can currently be seen in Joe Coy comedy film Easter Sunday, which is in theaters now. Interesting. What are the comments like? By the way, again, I'm guessing she is an actress, and apparently a really good one, but that, I think it's pretty cool. I think what she did was pretty cool. <laughs> First comment I see. I like her. Okay. Well, actually, the thing is, I actually like her too, right? Just from this one post, I like her, right? This person says, the very sad thing is, I believe her issues with alcohol will prove to be behind this ridiculous comment. These things are so easily proven to be true or false, I almost feel sorry for her. The decision to turn down $10 million merely indicates you are flushed to a level where you don't 
need the money. And that was basically my comment as well, right? Because it's very different than being like rich and turning down $10 million versus you're living paycheck to paycheck and someone is about to hand you like $10 million in cash, right? She seems to have a good head on her shoulders and speaks her honest truth. There's a lot to be said of a person's morale or moral standards and values in today's crazy world. It's hard to stay balanced in a world so full of pockets of seduction. Your dignity should never be compromised no matter the cost. I like her. She's funny. I really loved her show with the children. Kids say the darndest things. The Card Counter was a good movie too. Best of luck, Tiffany. Hang in there. Yeah, see, like, the thing is, like, I've literally never heard of any of this. Conviction, good for her. She looks great. I go to Walmart for tough jeans for when I am out and about on our family working ranch and went to Macy's for mid-upper range clothes for going out and Bloomingdale's for very special event one-off items. My soul was never involved in any clothing I have ever bought. Who is she, by the way? Interesting. Hold on. I wonder what's the best rated. She is lying is the best rated one. Well, that's sad. Let's see. If you're going to lie, at least make it believable. Margaret Robbie made $12.5 million for a role in the new Barbie movie. Not an Instagram post, a movie. An A-list actress, which this woman is not. The fact that she even claims someone offered $10 million for an Instagram is actually seriously laughable. The thing is, now I don't know what her following size is, but you got to keep in mind too, maybe this was during the time, during the whole crypto phase, and a lot of crypto companies were literally shilling out millions upon millions of dollars to random people to get people into their basically scam, right? Like, there were influencers that got paid millions of dollars, right, for one post. As if she is nowhere near well known enough to get to even get a million, let alone ten. Who? How can she be a megastar if I have never heard of her? An actress star has a storied career of multiple success, yeah, multiple successes in innovation spanning decades. My soul has nothing to do with clothing style, so I certainly have taken the ten million. Interesting. Worst rated. Newest. So the thing is, I really don't know if it's true or not. Again. If someone stumbles upon this and has a little bit more information to share, feel free to leave what you know about this, right? I just find this to be very interesting. And the main lesson to be basically taken from this is that you should do everything you can to get yourself into a position where you could say no to something because you have the option to say no to something, right? Because if you are in a financial situation where you are struggling so bad that you are willing to do whatever for the next dollar just so that you can survive, that is a very dangerous position to be in. But if you got no debt, you got money in the bank, and you got money going towards investments. You're doing pretty good, and you're waking up every day 
not feeling too much stressors in your life. So if you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go down below. But yeah, it's just, I never really want to see someone being forced to take a financial option because they're trying to run away from a dire situation. Like that's like a really, really sad thing to see and it could end up ending long term very badly.